All right, we have our lovely friend from the state of Ohio. Lovely. Sean Smith. He is lovely. He's asking. Adorable. What options are there for more modern kilt jackets if you don't want something like a PC Argyle Crail or Sheriff Muir jacket? I'd actually say Crail is almost kind of modern-esque, so I would kind of a little bit disagree with him. A, a PC Prince Charlie jacket and vest is the formal, that's the one with the tails and the Braemar cuffs, um, super fancy, um, short-waisted jacket and coatee. Um, or short-waisted coatee, yeah, vest and coatee. The uh, Argyle jacket and vest has the gauntlet cuffs, has the, uh, the braided epaulettes, and has the scalloped pocket flaps. So they're, even though they're less than formal, they're still a little traditional leaning or like, I wouldn't say frou-frou, but kind of like fancy-ish. So I think what Sean's talking about is more like a Wallace jacket. That's the first thing that popped or, in my head. Yeah, something very simple, contemporary, kind of stripped down. Um, you could There's a jacket called a Wallace jacket, which basically it's one button on the backside of the cuff, which is, just so you know, a Crail cuff. Um, but that's what it's called. It's just one button on the back. It's a Crail cuff. And you can actually have suit flap pockets instead of the scalloped pockets. You can have three buttons down the front, so it's a little bit longer profile down the front of the jacket. And instead of a, a nice sweeping down by the sporn, it kind of it turns a little bit quicker at the bottom. Um, so there's a few different things you can do. What I would not do personally is wear a normal contemporary suit jacket with a kilt because it tends to be too long. It'll cover up two-thirds of the back of the kilt, and then you end up looking like you're wearing your, your daddy's suit jacket with a kilt. Um, it just It's a mix-match thing. It doesn't quite work. But, yeah, a Wallace jacket. There's a lot of custom stuff. There's a lot of little tweaks that you can do depending on the manufacturer. Um, I don't like to get product-heavy, but we can do a lot of different things for jackets. They're going to cost a little bit more because they are custom, but we can tweak things. We can make things just so, just for you. Um, in the same way that most companies who have a good relation with their tailor can. Yeah, I think it depends on what, in, in this situation, like I said, Wallace jacket stuck out in my head in this. I guess it depends on what bells and whistles you're wanting to keep or exclude. Yeah. It, it's Because even some tweed jackets, like you could, some of that isn't the way you can, you know, adding more buttons or deleting the buttons or... Having the um, lapels on the vest, yeah. yeah. So it, it just depends on <clears throat> what See, direction me, you're going. To me, for for tweed, for tweed, it, tweed just feels so classic. Um, it's and so earthy. It's it, it it screams like Victorian turn of the century or last century. Um, it's it's one of those where it's like it it wants to be more traditional versus contemporary um there are a lot of contemporary things done with tweed you could do it i guess it would work fine i don't know mm -hmm. 